A warm greeting. Today is Wednesday, September 13, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I will provide an updated forecast for Hurricane Lee, which is beginning to approach Bermuda and where conditions are expected to deteriorate over the next 36 hours. Later on, this cyclone will move near or over the northeastern regions of the United States and Nova Scotia. This afternoon, a tropical storm watch has been issued for areas of New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and a hurricane watch for parts of New Hampshire and Maine. It's important for residents in these areas to stay vigilant about the Hurricane Lee's development. I also wanted to mention that Hurricane Margot continues to move very slowly, and over the next few days, it will meander erratically through the Atlantic waters, posing no threat to land areas. Towards the end of the video, I will briefly discuss Invest 97, which has a high probability of becoming a tropical depression as it moves northwestward through the tropical Atlantic. Let's continue discussing Hurricane Lee. Hurricane Lee has started to weaken, however, this weakening will be quite slow over the next few days. Currently, it has maximum sustained winds of 105 miles per hour while expanding the extent of tropical storm and hurricane force winds. Due to the broad structure of this hurricane, the weakening process will be gradual, so it is anticipated that when it reaches the northeastern United States or Nova Scotia, it will be a Category 1 hurricane. In this image, you can see the extent of tropical storm winds covering hundreds of miles from the center of circulation. Over the next 12 hours, these winds will begin to affect Bermuda. In its path west of Bermuda, it seems that hurricane force winds will remain over the Atlantic waters. A tropical storm warning has been issued due to the outer bands accompanied by tropical storm force winds. Here, you can also see the tropical storm watch covering regions of Maine, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Rhode Island. In pink, you can see the hurricane watch that will soon be extended to Nova Scotia. Here's the official forecast track from the National Hurricane Center. The center of circulation of Hurricane Lee will pass closest to Bermuda during Thursday night and then continue its northward movement, reaching the northeastern United States or Nova Scotia during Saturday afternoon. Effects are expected to begin early Saturday morning and extend into Sunday afternoon. Let's look at the expected effects in Bermuda and much of the northeastern United States. Here, we have the projection of wind gusts that could impact Bermuda over the next few hours, especially during Thursday night and Friday morning, with tropical storm force winds and gusts of up to 70 miles per hour. Then, between Saturday and Sunday, tropical storm winds will affect much of New Hampshire, Maine, and areas in the eastern Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and Connecticut. If Hurricane Lee maintains the trajectory marked by the National Hurricane Center, some hurricane force wind gusts may impact coastal areas of Maine and central and southern Nova Scotia. Dangerous sea conditions continue in the northern Bahamas and along the eastern coast of the United States, at least until next Friday. For Bermuda, wave heights of up to 30 feet could be registered over the next 48 hours. When Hurricane Lee moves closer to the northeastern United States, specifically between Friday night and extending into Sunday, dangerous sea conditions will be felt along the northeastern United States and Nova Scotia coastlines. Coastal flooding and erosion are expected. You can see that the New England region is expected to receive 2 to 5 inches of rain, with higher accumulations in eastern Maine. The wind is expected to cause power outages in some locations in eastern New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and Connecticut. More widespread outages are possible along the Maine coast, as well as for Nova Scotia. Here, we have the forecast for the strongest wind gusts that may be recorded. For example, in parts of western Maine, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Rhode Island, Wind gusts of 40 to 60 miles per hour may be recorded between Saturday and Sunday. Stronger gusts between 60 to 80 miles per hour could affect regions in central and eastern Maine and Nova Scotia. Now, let's talk about Invest 97, which continues to show signs of development. Here, you can see that it's starting to generate a cluster of thunderstorms closer to its center of circulation and is not far from becoming the next tropical depression. It will then strengthen into Tropical Storm Nigel, but fortunately, it should maintain a trajectory far from the Caribbean region. At 2 p.m., the National Hurricane Center increased the chances of development into a tropical depression to 90%. As I mentioned in yesterday's video, there is a good consensus among models that it will head northwest and stay well away from the Caribbean region. This upcoming cyclone is not expected to have any impact on the eastern and northeastern Caribbean. However, it may be of interest to Bermuda in the long term. In terms of intensity, models continue to forecast gradual strengthening over the next five days, and it's expected to become the next hurricane of the season. Some models even indicate it could reach Category 3 hurricane status by early next week. There is a high level of confidence in the forecasted track that keeps it away from the Caribbean region. For example, 
the ensemble of GFS model members keeps it away from the Eastern Caribbean region, with most showing a path over the open waters of the Atlantic. However, Bermuda should remain vigilant about its evolution. Also, note that most model members strengthen it into a Category 2 or Category 3 hurricane. Additionally, the ensemble of European model members also predicts it will stay over open Atlantic waters, though again, Bermuda could potentially be impacted by this cyclone by mid-next week. The good news is that Tropical Storm Nigel and Hurricane Nigel are both expected to remain over open Atlantic waters. However, Bermuda should continue to monitor its evolution. Well, that's all for the tropical conditions update. I wanted to let you know that next week, we will be monitoring a new tropical wave that could develop cyclonically as it moves away from the African region. I hope you all have an excellent night. Until tomorrow.